So I went on a mission to find an AI image creation tool that not only created high quality images, but did so with an easy to use interface. That's when I found a software called So Visual. At its core, So Visual is a social media image template creator that allows you to easily create images and posts for social media. But they recently introduced an AI tool that works just as well as the other softwares, but the interface makes it super easy. So I invented the CEO of So Visual to come onto the program and show us how the software works. Dustin, welcome to the channel. Hey, Dustin here, founder of So Visual Co. Happy to be here. So our AI text generator, let's say that you're just in need of some ideas, you don't know exactly what to write for your Instagram post or your Facebook post. You're trying to think what's a great caption to uh, to really showcase this uh, this image that I'm creating. So you can literally tell this AI to write anything you want, and it will write that one thing. Okay, uh, obviously, it's super it's AI at its finest, right? Right. Let's try this. Like, write me an Instagram caption that is 100 words and focuses on the joys of success. So just giving it, so this is how I would type into chat, chat GBT, and then you hit generate. Yeah. Now just a precursor here. I might have a limitation on how many words it generates typically because these are for graphics. And so for gra to put them on the graphics, Oh, got um, it. Okay. So, all right. Got it. So let's, let's see what it does. We'll see what it does. Yeah. I don't know what that limit is. Yeah. So it's a little bit, it's not probably. A see, I love that, that, man. That would save me so much time. Like when I post a reel or something, if I could just get like a chunk of content, mm -hmm. that is fantastic. That worked exactly the way I wanted it to. Yeah. So, I mean, you can use that copy and paste it right into your caption. You can, in most cases, uh, what a lot of our users are doing, they're copying it. Now I have a little feature built in. You just click on the caption and it copies the entire text. Uh, and you can paste it right into your post if that's where you want to use it. You can oh. chop it up. You can say, you know, I just want the first line here. Um, you know, trim it up, cut it down, edit it. this. Yeah. Um, Another little cool feature, because it is in anything input, let's say you literally have no idea what to type. You can tell it, give me five social media ideas about wellness, and it's going to give you exactly what you want. Uh, use social media to share healthy recipes and cooking tips. Use social media to share tips for a healthy lifestyle. Use social media to share information about wellness programs and events. Uh, promote healthy habits and practices. And then you can go back in and then put that idea in and have it write me a post about, you, you know, right. recipes of cooking tips. Okay. I love it. Show me the second one, the image generator. So the image generator is just like any other image generator out there. It's really going to be as effective as you are able to give it descriptive words. And uh, so it, you're talking about work. writing, you're talking about prompt writing. Yeah. So uh, the better you are at writing descriptive prompts, uh, the better the result's going to be. This is literally just a direct connection with Dolly 2, uh, the uh, OpenAI um, image generator. So uh, type in something that you want it to create to produce for you. So give me something. Armchair shaped like an av avocado. Come on, Californian. Yes, avocado. Armchair shaped like an avocado. See what it comes with. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Now this, this might be a great uh, use case for the background remover or the background replacer as well, because um, that, that looks like a great comfy chair. I'd love to sit in it. Yeah. But let's say I don't really like that background. It looks like an office space. Uh, so I'm going to save this. And uh, because I'm using um, the Brave browser or Chrome browser, the, the file actually sits right at the bottom here. Yeah. And I can drag it right into oh, the Oh, I love background. that. Yeah, that's great background remover input. And once it's uploaded, I can say remove background. And the AI is going to go to work and detect the subject matter of the image. And it's going to try and remove everything around it. And hopefully look at that. I love it. Perfectly remove the background. Okay. But now can you put it in a new background? I can. So uh, let me save this one real quick. So then you save that new image as... 
Now let's go to background remover. I'm going to upload that same exact photo, right? With the background still in there. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to tell it uh, just like writing an image prompt, uh, what I want in the background. So let's say a, uh, a luxury apartment. Man, that's good. I could see so many real estate applications. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, luxury apartment, um, natural lighting. So there's so, a yeah. lot of trial and error. There's a lot of like type in a prompt, see if you like it. But the, the oh, look at that. See, look at that's fantastic. Yeah. And so the great thing about this this AI is that it it not only sort of tries to understand what it is you're trying to say for the background, it you can see that it tried to apply the same uh, dimension. Like it looks like it's yeah. sitting on that floor. Yeah. Um, super intelligent. Super intelligent. It's background. way better than the Amazon uh, look at this in your room tool. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we can even, you know, hit the button again if you don't like the result and, uh, you know, just see what else it comes up with. Uh, so we have the upscaler. So uh, I, one problem that AI images currently have, um, if, you know, is a little bit behind behind the scenes or inside baseball for you, for, for those who are really the, not the uh, AI image nerds like I am. Mm -hmm. So these AI images are being generated typically around 512 to 1024 pixels on average. And so that's about half the size of my current desktop screen. Yeah. Uh, they're they're not quite high enough resolution for an, a perfect Instagram photo, for example. Okay. Instagram photos will display at 1080 by 1080, and most AI image generators are going to give you a, a slightly smaller, if not half as small, version of that image. So if you want to upscale, you want to make it higher resolution so that when somebody sees it on Instagram, it's not pixelated and it doesn't look low quality, you can use our image uh, upscaler. And, can I do uh, that with like old photos? Oh yeah, absolutely. You can drop any photo into here and it will uh, it will increase the resolution. It will sort of, it will do its best to try and eliminate pixelization or any um, image artifacts that might be on there. So if it's got like scratches and I'll give you a, a great example. So I've got this uh, lady with pink hair. Yeah. I don't know if I can blow it up big enough, but um, if you look closely, I know this is video and it's kind of hard to see, but it looks a little, if you look at the strands of her hair, it's a little pixelated in here. And if I were to really blow that up, I don't think I can. Um, on Instagram, for example, on an iPhone 10 or, or higher screen, something with high pixel density, it's going to look kind of low quality. Like it wasn't shot with a really good um, camera. Yeah, but we can drop that right into our image upscaler and hit upscale. And the AI is going to quadruple the the resolution of that image. Wow. Look at that. Much higher quality. So, yeah, here you can see that I've opened them both side by side. Yeah. Wow. And that's the these are the original sizes. This one upscaled it and you can see it's a much higher image quality. Yeah. Fact, to zoom in here. You can see the low quality. And uh, it's much smoother. You just get much more, yeah, bandwidth out of that. So yeah. then you can add that to the images in inside of your social media images down here. Yep. And uh, since it's upscaled, let's see, you know, maybe you want a caption about pink hair. I'm not afraid to stand out from the crowd. Oh, that's Perfect. a beautiful. I, I thought it was going to be like pink hair is the color of, I, you know, <laughs> wow, that's really great. We'll drop our upscaled image in there. Give it that uh, proper ratio. Make sure it's centered. And hit the create button. Beautiful. Perfect for every possible network. Yeah, that's amazing. And then you have multiple different templates that you can choose from? Yeah, the beauty is we have over, uh, I think, 1,300 templates at this point, um, really for any possible situation you could imagine. Wow. Um, we have uh, done a really intentional job at categorizing them. So if you want, uh, you know, say, an Instagram-style uh, template, uh, some of these are really great. If you want something that's uh, businessy, uh, wow! Click on the business category, scroll through those. 
um, or just search. You know, maybe you just have a you know a, a, a review. You want to create an image for really some of the reviews for your business. Um, we have some review templates as well. Really kind of thought through what are the what are the most common graphic needs for small businesses. Again, after doing this for 10 years and having to you know charge clients way too much money to uh, to do it for them, um, I wanted to create a way where they can just go and do it themselves. So if you want to get started using So Visual, then visit the link that I put down in the description box below. Play with the software and see how you like it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to watch this next video that's on your screen now where we're going to show you another fantastic AI video creation or marketing creation tool that you're really going to love. So I'll see you in the next video.